Hey, I'm Kyle with the DIY Garage Door Parts. Today I'm going to show you how to weigh your garage door so you can figure out what torsion springs you're going to need for your garage door. That's if you can't uh, measure your springs or if somebody's put the wrong springs on your garage door, this is a surefire way to get the right thing for your garage door. Uh, the tools that we'll need, we're going to need a set of winding bars and the best thing to do is if you don't have any winding bars, you can get half inch bars from, from like Home Depot or Lowe's and cut them down 16 to 18 inches is fine. Uh, that's to fit in your torsion springs. Also, uh, you'll need a ratchet or socket, and this is an eight point socket, three eighths. Um, you can also use a seven sixteenths wrench, it works fine. You're gonna need two cheap bathroom scales. So, like from Walmart, these are like seven dollars or something like that you want the cheap analog you don't want digital because they typically won't read right and also make sure where your garage door sits on the concrete it is flat and level there's no stair step or anything like that because that's going to throw your scales off okay the first thing we're going to do now is we're going to come over to the garage door opener the emergency release we're going to pull it make sure it's released that way all the door weight is on the ground now, in this situation, we're going to pretend one of these springs are broke. Uh, we're going to pretend this one's still good, but we can't actually weigh the door because we're only going to get approximately half of the door weight. So what we need to do, we need to take our bathroom scales, and I like to put one of them over on this hinge row. Uh, you can use one scale if you have a small door, like an 8 foot wide or a 9 foot door, but in this case it's the 18 foot door. So we're going to make sure the scales are zeroed out and then we're going to lift the door and it's probably going to be heavy so you may need some help but use your foot slide it in slide it under the hinge and lower it down get your other scale and you're going to do the same thing raise it up slide it in and slide that there and it'll probably read approximately half the door weight you're going to get your six foot ladder and your winding bars and your wrench. Now to do this, you're going to need, you're going to need someone else to help you. You're going to need somebody to actually read the scales. I'm going to release some of the tension. I'm going to lift up on the spring. You can do on the spring that's broke or the spring that still has tension on it. You're going to lift up on the, on the uh, winding bars and somebody's going to go over and read the weight on the scales once they're slacking the cables. Okay, so you're going to put your winding bar in your spring. You're going to leave the keys tightened down. So you don't want to release that because it's not going to release any tension on. You, so you want to raise up and you can see the cables went slack. Now while you're holding the tension up the other person needs to read the scales. You don't want to raise up too much or the cables will come off the drums. And once you've read what the tension is you can put the tension back on, on the drums. So now, if you were raising your door by hand or whatever until you get your springs in, you can at least raise your door by hand and, you know, vice grip it up or prop it up. Um, that way you're still semi-functional on your garage door. Um, this way, you, you can just wait until your springs come in, then release your tension here. Your door's are just not locked down. So your two door weight, your weights on your scales was 120 pounds and 152 pounds. You might as well say 270 pounds was your total door weight. So what you're going to do, you're going to divide that by two. So let's say 135 per spring. So you're going to look for a set of springs that is 135 pounds and you need a pair of those. And so this door is seven foot tall. So you're going to look for, on our website, you're going to look for seven foot torsion springs that will lift 100, 135 pounds each and you need a pair. All right, so the second way we're going to weigh the door, it's as if you had no spring tension on it at all. Like if you had both springs broke or you had just one spring up there and it was broke. 
So what we're going to do, we're going to need two bathroom scales since this is a, a two car garage. You'll just need one if you, if you have a single car garage. So go ahead and lay out your scales. Make sure it's zeroed out. And you're going to need, if you've got a two car garage, it's probably a good idea to have a second person help you out with this. All right, so you're going to both pick up at the same time and you're going to slide the scale under. All right, so now we're going to make sure that the scales or the door settled, so you'll pull down on it. Place 140, like 138. So your total door weight, like 175, when I really look at it. Actually, yeah, this is 135. And this is 138. So you're looking at about 270 pounds. So that's how you would get the door weight if you didn't have any spring tension at all on it. And then you can kick the scale, lift the door up and kick the scales out. But that'll show you how to order the right springs. You just need to make sure on our website it has the, the weight that that spring will lift but you need to make sure it's for a seven foot door or eight foot door. You need to make sure of that first.